one is Guy Tang, your number one hair bestie, and I'm back with Lena. Hi. You guys know Lena. She's my original Elsa model, but she's been putting fun stuff in her hair, so hence this interesting coloration because she's an experimenter, right, Lena? Yes. So guess what, guys? You know I'm all about the metallic obsession, and Kenra is definitely a Guy Tang favorite. It's been for a long time now, and there's a new shade, Violet Metallic. So this is in the permanent color category. There's a seven, eight, and nine. And you guys know I'm really excited about it. So guess who's gonna be our model? Lena. Are you excited? Yes, very. <laughs> take a look, take a look. Okay, and that's not all guys. There's the Dimmy line, which is the most important thing. Cause I feel that, yes, permanent has ammonia and it lifts and deposits, but sometimes, you know, you want something that deposits only when you refresh hair, when you want just the deposit only. So the Demi Permanent color, Kenra, and there's a 789. And this is what we're gonna use on her today because obviously her hair is already pretty lightened. So we don't need any more lift from the permanent. So I always say when you don't need to use permanent, it's important to have the Demi. And that's why the Demi is, oh, we're gonna, we're not gonna talk anymore. We're just gonna get started, yes? So let's right, go. Guys. I am mixing the 7VM, the 8VM, and the 9VM. And with an inch of 5VR. So we're gonna put the 7VM at the routage, the 8VM midway down, and I'm gonna put all the 9VM on the ends. What I find to help me is to use a silicone whisk instead of using the brush, because I hate kind of wearing out the brush. So when mixing the color, sometimes it can be complicating to blend the developer in to the color. So what I find is the whisk really helps. So you can see here, I'm whisking the 7VM, and I mix as I go. Like as you can see here, I haven't mixed these yet, and I'm gonna mix the eight, and I'm gonna mix the nine as I go to those sections. So since I'm gonna put the 7VM down first, I'm just gonna mix this one down, so that way it gets put on the hair immediately. Okay, so I'm applying 7VM with the dedicated nine volume activator only at the regrowth area about two to three inches out depending on our situation back here. Now this is considered a semi color correction in a sense because she has very uneven lift and lots of bands in the inside of her hair due to uh, Lena sometimes she likes to play with her own hair color and she put things on her hair which is fine so if you look closely there's bands here of different tones can you guys see that? But that's not her fault, she's human, you know, most of our clients are human, obviously. So nobody has perfect hair, so this could be a situation. And so what um, I'm doing, I'm counting on the level 7 to be deep enough to cover. So what I notice is right when I put the level 7 on, you get like a mild color distortion here because of these semi-dyes out here to get distorted when a demi-permanent color goes over it. Don't get scared. Do not rinse it away because it's only like that at first because it's still trying to develop and oxidize. Let it sit for the full 20 minutes when you're processing and you'll find that the, um, the 7VM will completely destroy um, those uh, uh, direct dyes. So here, as you can see, where I have placed it on longer is completely perfect. The 7VM. It's only when you first put it on it can be kind of different when dealing with color correction because honestly guys let me tell you every client who comes in they have bands unevenness i mean you know life happens so don't get scared and that's why i think the 7vm creating that depth at the routage at lena's scalp will be safe and it won't be scary because it'll have enough depth to completely conceal and camouflage that situation uh, until she comes back next time for her uh, color balancing and I'm going to do this throughout Lena's uh, head, and then I'm going to blur down the 8VM midway through. So as you can see, the 7VM is already processing at the scalp. It always looks dark while it's processing, but don't be scared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an MD mesh. This, this is the long sheet, and I'm just going to clip it to the cape. And this is what's going to help us have a clean overlay. So I'm going to start at the bottom, just like this. And we're going to blur, do a little color melting action. We're going to blur the 8VM right here down through the mids like that. And just trust the product. What I find is when you let it process 
for 20 minutes, the full 20 minutes, you're going to get true color results. It's going to be so pretty about that far down and just let the product process. I'm just going to lay just like that. I'm going to work my way up. And as you can see already, the purple that's currently in her hair, the lavender, it starts to turn into a crazy distortion. But don't get scared. Okay. Just like this. And I'm going to do the same method throughout the whole entire head. Make sure when you guys apply the product you really want to saturate saturation is the key because remember there's no ammonia in a demi permanent color so there's no room for expansion when you use a permanent color what happens is that the color will swell and expand so since we're using a demi you really got to make sure you swipe 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 so you saturate all the strands thoroughly because it will not expand like a a permanent color will because a permanent color has ammonia it'll automatically expand itself so i'm going to leave the ends out because we're going to go back and hit the ends with a nine and what i find is that when you rinse it too soon because you see the color looking strange what happens is you're not letting the dyes fully develop so you're not getting true the tone result i find that's very important to make sure it process for the full 20 minutes and you got to make sure you mix it one to two ratio so my ratio of mixing is one part color to two parts activator. The dedicated activator is the nine volume, which is in the black bottle. Okay, and it's important to measure it one to two because it balances out the pH. So you're getting a demi permanent result. If you mix it equal parts, it will make it too alkaline and it's not as uh, gentle on the hair. If you want a true demi result that is more gentle to the hair, make sure you mix it one to two. That way the developer balance out the pH level to the product. Just like that. This will be cool because we're going to use the 7, 8, and 9. So you're getting a true ombre effect that is seamless. Um, some people will call it color melting. Some people will call it ombre. Whatever you want to call it, that's fine. But we're going to get that seamless color transition from scalp to ends. And it's up to you to be creative. If you want to use just the 7 and the 8, that's fine. If you just want to use the 9, you can also mix it with the clear. What I love is that now they're all in a mixable. You can mix the VM with the N series. You can mix the VM with the PV series or the V series. Or you can mix it with the silver metallic series. So what I love is that now the, the palette is a lot more wider. And you get an infinite array of possibilities when you're mixing all of these tones together because you get to cool it warm it and right now uh the metallic tones are very very trending i mean looking all over pinterest looking all over the internet celebrities are wearing it everyone's wearing it soft delicate hues are really really popular it's wearable you get to have a hint of a tone but yet it's not in your face and it will match Lena's skin tone so well, it will complement it. Lena loves violet tones. So the silver and the violet metallic series will be great for her. Alright, so as you can see, I put the 7 and the 8. Now the ends are out, so I'm going to go in and tackle the very ends with the level 9 VM. Again, mix the same way. And now I'm going to run this through the ends. So you're going to get that ombre effect. I love the mesh. The MV mesh, the long one, really lets me have a clean place to put the color so it doesn't get all over the cape. So it looks very, very professional, which I love. So this will allow me to just lay it just like that. And remember, make sure you really saturate. So you gotta open up the hair. Sometimes I open it up and sometimes you'll find that you might miss the spot. So you gotta make sure you spread it open and put it in. So see, you got to spread it open and you'll see like, oh, look at that. And then you put the product right in and make sure you penetrate. Got to get in there, spread it out, pull it through, swipe up, swipe down. Put a little tension in your fingers like this. Because remember, there's no ammonia because it's dim eye. So you really got to push that product in. 
okay? I use Demi Permanent Color more than I actually use Permanent Color because Demi gives you, you know, it gives you flexibility. You could tone, you could glaze, you get to refresh, you could create fashion placement without worrying about compromising the integrity of the hair. See that? I spread it open. And since this is a semi-color correction, you guys can see, you see where this tone is kind of have like a strange greenish tinge. Trust the process that in 20 minutes will be done. And this is only because she has that semi-permanent lavender in her hair before. And anytime we're dealing with those type of colors, it could always be scary. Uh, and that's why I call these episodes Paranormal Heritivity because it could get scary because we don't know what's going to happen. We just don't know. We don't know. <laughs> right, Lena? Right. We don't know. But that's okay. That's what makes it fun. Okay, look how fast we're moving up. And then after, I, what, what I do is I start timing 20 minutes after the whole application process is done. Um, you can leave it on longer, like up here it's been staying on longer, and that's fine. It's not going to go darker, it's not going to go crazy. It's going to be true to level, so just know that and feel safe. Uh, I've been using the color for a while, playing with it, so I kind of know the behavior of the coloration. Okay. So, on to this side. I always feel sometimes when doing color correction, I mean, gosh, you know, during the process, it can be like, oh my gosh, what's happening? What's happening? And we panic. We go into this panic mode and we go, oh my gosh, let's rinse it out now. But once you do that, you're screwed because you really have the dingy color because you didn't give the product enough time. And that's the thing, you gotta trust the product. And what happens is we end up blaming the product when we just didn't trust in it. And if you just trust, you will know the product will perform it's, it's going to be so beautiful. And another thing I like to say is that if you want it to be a little bit more fashion forward, you can add the Violet Booster into it or the blue. Uh, I've done that before and I really love the results. You can put about one to three inches of Violet Booster into your deadline and it'll be fine because it has um, direct dyes in them if you want. However, I didn't do that, but you can. Um, even though the... The boosters are considered in a permanent series it, because it has direct dyes in them. It actually works okay if you just put an inch or two or three in it. And it's possible that you could do that if you like. Generally, you don't have to. And sometimes I like to create fashion colors by mixing a level five with a level nine. Sometimes I put like a level five uh, violet with a level nine uh, PV or something like that. And you could create like really interesting rose colors, very interesting delicate antique tones. And I do that a lot. And that's the best part about using a demi permanent color because you never have to worry about the, the putting the hair in a compromised position. See, voila, we're done. That's it. We are done with Lena. You guys know Lena. She's amazing and beautiful. Tell us how you feel, Lena. I feel great. This look is very ready to wear. And sexy. It's, 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 it's wearable, yeah? yeah? Wearable. That's the key word here. And we said it looked antique, yes, and like an antique rose. And anyone can wear this color. It's so delicate. I am obsessed. When I turn her head down, we did the Chateau Brutage with the 7 BM Violet Metallic, uh, 8 SM through the mid shaft, and the 9 SM through the ends. And honestly, guys, I've been waiting for a color like this. I'm super, super excited. The fact that it's in a demi permanent and it's able to be intermixed with the silver metallic or the pearl violet or the 10v or whatever because you get to intermix it and the fact like i said again demi permit is the key word that got me excited so tell us what you think about this rosé violet metallic we know lena loves it yeah i love it i can wear it to work wear it anywhere yeah you can wear it to work and you're not gonna get in trouble right people are gonna judge you <laughs> anyway thumbs up leave some comments below follow me on instagram twitter facebook periscope snapchat mm -hmm. And everything. Everything. Love you guys. Leave all the links below. 
leave comments. Okay, bye. Bye.